Hello, Gemini. What is going on? Welcome to your March 2023 Love and Romance reading. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So this reading may resonate if you have a Gemini sun, moon, rising, or any other major Gemini placements. Please remember, though, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, feel free to swap the roles if it makes sense. Because I am simply reading energies, I could be talking about you or your person. And if I feel that it will genuinely be insightful to do an extended reading based on what we see here, you can find the link to that in the description box below, but I will go over all of this at the end of the reading. So stick around for that if you feel called to do so, but enough of me talking, Gemini. Let's get into your reading for March 2023. So the overall theme and energy for the Gemini Collective, please. And we're going to be starting out with some Oracle cards and then we'll dive deep with Tarot. A new start is coming, new moon. This is absolutely beautiful, Gemini. So there's some sort of new beginning headed your way. There could be a new beginning regarding a particular situation that you are in at this time, a new start with someone that you are involved in, or maybe for some of you, there is a new person coming into your life. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. So for some of you, either for you or your person, there could be you know a bit of the past sneaking up on someone here, but this is saying to not let the past hold you back, to not allow the past to get in your way. No self-sabotaging allowed here, Gemini. So let's grab another card here. Positive movement forward. Beautiful. Love this. So there is some sort of positive movement, positive progression, patience at the bottom of the deck. So you may be feeling as though you are in a situation that has been testing your patience. You may be patient at this time, but I feel like this is going to pay off. I feel like the situation, whatever it is that you are dealing with at this time, may be a bit more complex. You know, it's not just at the surface. Okay, did this flip over? No lopsided effort. I didn't know because I was just closing my eyes and really meditating. I was not expecting this to pop out. I was just focusing. I'm going to put this back in because I genuinely did not see if it was already turned over or not. I know some of you will be like, it was already turned over. Um, I want to, you know what, we'll take these, but I, I want to pull another one just to be fair here. So I was really just in the moment meditating on the question as I was speaking. Um, I feel like there could have been some sort of rejection here. Or there was some sort of lopsided effort. And it was just like, no. Like I feel like there was some sort of barrier due to lopsided effort. Or someone was having possibly an issue setting a boundary due to someone's lopsided effort. Let's pull another one, though. Sexual compatibility. Giving and receiving at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely a magnetic attraction here between you and your person, Gemini. But I feel like there is some sort of frustration between you and this person because someone there, there was some sort of lopsided effort. And I feel like this was getting in the way of some sort of positive movement forward. I feel like this is being alleviated, though, okay? I feel like there is a strong magnetic connection at this time now for some of you just for some of you if this was a new person maybe there was a lot of that physical chemistry and maybe it was primarily this this connection where you knew there was a lot of sexual compatibility and so forth but maybe there was stunted progress moving beyond that just for some of you okay this is this is another storyline that i'm getting because of lopsided efforts okay
We are going to be pulling three cards from the Romance Angel Oracle deck, and then we're gonna dive deep with Tarot. So this float, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So someone may have been have experiencing uh, some fears here, wondering if this person is safe to move forward with, safe to love. This could be you or your person. Love yourself first. I see what this is. I see what this is, Gemini. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and your self-respect. Self-respect makes you more romantically attractive for this love yourself first. We have trust at the bottom of the deck. So there are some big questions around trust I'm sensing. It really is coming down to can I trust this person? There is some sort of new start coming, whether this is between you and your person or you are choosing to move forward on your own. Okay, I feel like there was lopsided effort here despite this beautiful magnetic attraction between the two of you. I felt like there was a lot of questions, like I said, around trust, whether this person is safe to love, safe to move forward with. You may just have chose to focus on yourself, love yourself first. You're just like, no, I'm not going to be dealing. No, you know, this card here with this lopsided effort. Yes, we have that compatibility. Yes, I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. But there's lopsided effort here in the areas that really matter, in the areas that propel a connection forward, okay? And... I'm really sensing that you may have just pulled your energy back. You may have been focused on yourself. Your respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person could be looking back at you, you know. But with healing family issues, I'm really sensing that there is some sort of underlying psychological pattern that may be influencing someone's behavior here. And it may have stemmed from one's upbringing. And again, remember I said self-sabotage. Okay, someone's past could be holding them back. We drew this card. I still think I have it at the bottom of this deck. Don't let your past hold you back. Healing family issues. Now, maybe for some of you, this person is a part of your family, but that is definitely not necessary, Gemini. But I do feel that there is some sort of underlying issue here that needs to be healed. Okay, there. Th this could be... Um, generational trauma even and i do feel that the universe is supportive of this connection but i'm also sensing that there are a lot of lessons here as well i feel like the universe has brought you and this person together to really work through something here and it could be a mutual lesson but for many of you you may be the one who is playing the role of a spiritual teacher to your person that is helping them grow here okay so let's get into the tarot everything is pre-shuffled however i'm always going to be shuffling a little bit on camera here for you all but spirit please 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 i ask you protection throughout this reading whoops as we continue forward and i also ask for clear guidance and insight for the gemini collective please shed some clear light on a new start is coming it is safe for you to love love yourself first healing family family issues positive movement forward no lopsided effort and sexual compatibility what is this all about? Please bring in some clear guidance for the Gemini Collective, for those who may be resonating with this message. Five of Swords upright. So there was some sort of pain, some sort of loss, maybe even a sense of betrayal here. Maybe even playing some games. Gemini, has someone been playing games with you? Does it feel like someone's been playing some games? Were there some secrets here? The star in the past, though. Three of Cups. What's going on here, Gemini? Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarian energy representing you. Pisces with the uh, High Priestess. Aquarius with the star. Seven of Wands. Overall energy here. We have the Page of Swords at 
the bottom of the deck. I don't want to forget about this, so we're going to set this here. Secondary energy, two of pentacles in the reverse. There was a situation here that may have been a bit mishandled or mismanaged. Okay, I'm just going to fix the cards here. Make them look a little, a little nicer. But what I'm really getting here, Gemini, is that in the past, there was a lot of hope and healing for this connection. Okay, this was your wish fulfillment as it was your person, okay, for your person, because this is the mutual energy. But now, with the high priestess showing up here and what's being blocked, someone is not speaking up. Whenever I see the high priestess, this is like, what is not being said? Someone is remaining quiet about something, okay? The five of swords, and I'm getting major chills here, like major chills. We're going to need to clarify this for sure. However, it could feel like there is a sense of loss or betrayal. There may be questions around someone's motives. I feel overall there is this confusion just based on the overall energies and how these cards are interacting with one another energetically. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Okay. I feel that with the Wheel of Fortune representing you, and feel free to swap the roles here again if it makes sense, but with the Wheel of Fortune representing you, I feel that things are going to be turning in your favor and you're slowly going to be seeing this, okay? Cause and effect, some sort of good luck even. It's almost like whatever is happening here is going to be a major catalyst for change. Now, at the same time, with the Five of Swords, you know, it could feel like a bit of this opposition energy, but someone wants something here. Someone is desiring something here. I feel like someone has something in mind that they want. Okay, this could be this very win at all costs energy. There's some sort of something that someone wants here now with the three of cups showing up for your person i feel like your person down here this person they enjoy your company okay they enjoy spending time with you they enjoy talking with you i am wondering though if this person is a bit distracted down here if someone went silent here, if this person went a bit silent here, and they've just been focusing on their own thing, okay? Now, the Three of Cups is not in the reverse, but I do feel like your person may be focused on the lighter things in life at this time. With the Seven of Wands, I do see someone standing their ground. The Page of Swords is the overall energy. I do feel like there is going to be some sort of communication or message that is coming in. Or someone really approaching the situation and looking at it as a way of learning more information, trying to figure things out. Because pages are students and, you know, the page of swords, he's going to be looking at things objectively. So what I want to do here, you know, Gemini, before we start clarifying, I feel... I feel like things are turning in your favor now because you have taken this energy back. You've taken your power back. You've, you've chosen to love yourself first here. I feel that you are showing this person that you value yourself, your energy. I feel like this is going to bring in this forward movement. But Gemini... This is what I want to do, okay? I want to dive deep here. I want to go ahead and clarify all of these cards and get some more information out. As a reader, it is just easier for me to draw all of the cards at once so I can see the whole picture, see what's going on here. And for that transparency, I will draw everything on camera, but I'm going to do this very quickly right away, and then we'll dive deep.
All right, Gemini, let's get into this. So once again, for that transparency, I did draw everything on camera for you. And I did turn some of these cards upside down just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine. We are going to be starting with the uh, piles that are upright and make our way towards the uh, piles that are upside down. And we will go through everything one by one thoroughly and so forth. So we're going to start out with the recent past. For others of you, this may be the more distant past. For others of you, you may be going through this now. And please, please, please let me know below if, if this ends up resonating for you, okay? So what I'm really getting here, Gemini, and as I was shuffling the cards and sensing like all of this energy, the song that came to mind was that Adele song, Rolling in the Deep. I have not heard that song in such a long time. I'm not going to be singing it to you all because I cannot sing, but that song came to mind rolling in the deep by Adele we could have had it all that part of the song came to my mind okay I feel and I'm getting major chills here you guys major chills not even like this is going to be a very deep reading so I'm already at the edge of my seat to dive deep with you all here so we have Aquarius energy, temperance, or with the star temperance in the reverse is Sagittarius energy. I feel as though in the past, it felt like you and this person were each other's wish fulfillment, okay? But there was something extreme here. Maybe there was some love bombing that went ahead here. Maybe things felt very, it could have just felt so good, so extreme, so fast, and then it may have quickly led to some sort of defeat. For some of you, I feel as though there was this hope that things would improve because of how deep this connection was. For some of you, there may have been something going on with addictions. Now that's just for some of you, not all of you. I'm getting this from temperance in the reverse, some sort of imbalance. There could have been a situation here where someone was Im imbalanced, so it was causing the connection to become imbalanced. But I do feel that for many of you, you may have felt as though it was possible to heal this. Okay, it wasn't enough to, you know, throw in the towel here. But eventually, in, even for some of you, maybe this did kind of fizzle out quite quickly with temperance in the reverse and the eight of, of uh, wands because this is some quick energy. But the six of wands in the reverse is leading to, this has led to some sort of defeat, lack of recognition. Maybe someone's ego even got in the way. But it felt like a defeat. Something that felt so good led to a defeat. Now, if there was a separation here or someone pulled their energy away, or maybe this is just what is going on in one's head, but I'm also getting this message that someone has decided to really focus on their own healing, okay? Their own inner healing. Because looking at the situation may have made someone feel, well, it's not going to work out here. That's just for some of you. Now, Gemini, I have been working on my own Oracle deck, but I have not gotten all of the artwork uh, done yet. So I just, I've been playing around with it. I made my own little deck with the words on it and so forth. The most important thing is that it is accurate. I know it's not the most visually flattering, but we're going to bring this into the reading and see what comes up here. Reflect. Yeah, someone may have been reflecting here. There may have been a timeout. Home and family. Toxic in the reverse. Decisions and planning. So there may have even, like I had mentioned, been a bit of a timeout. Someone may have decided to solely focus on their own healing. And if it's not that, then I do feel like there was a lot of reflection going on at the time. 
okay someone may have been spending more time alone or maybe just with family and so forth but with home and family I do feel that there was emphasis on the long term in some way shape or form okay the foundation in, in which someone really wants to build upon and I feel like there's someone here who is really thinking about their long term who they want to have a long term with and maybe for some of you you do live with this person okay or this person was a part of your family but with toxic in the reverse it's just like I want to heal this and I don't want any sort of toxic dynamic okay with feel uh, healing family issues like I said this could have been some sort of underlying dynamic due to one's upbringing but I feel that with toxic in the reverse there is someone here who is noticing toxic patterns unhealthy behaviors and there's a desire for for recovery and to get out of that. Now, in the recent or the current energies or the incoming energies for some of you, for some of you, you could be dealing with this, you know, right now. But there is some sort of of possible conflict here or loss related to the past and being stuck in the past okay again this could have to do with repeated patterns or something from someone's upbringing but with the queen of cups in the reverse and the king of wands in the reverse someone's emotions may be getting the best of them and there may be someone here who is feeling a lot but they may not be expressing them in a healthy way and for some it may be that it is actually coming out in one's actual like outside behaviors and they may be a bit toxic okay now this may be someone who is coming across either a a bit like uh, more domineering, narcissistic even, or egotistical, or this could be someone who isn't taking action and isn't stepping into this leadership role and initiating and really leading the way in a respectable way. Okay? I feel like someone could be up, still upset about the past as well and how someone acted. Because I do feel like there's someone who wants to come in here and speak up. We'll get into this in a moment. But someone could still be feeling a bit betrayed. And when I asked more about this, we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, again, this could be a family situation. And if not, this is about the long term, long term investments, legacy, what you want your future to be like. You know, this is the real deal. This is the whole family. The husband, the wife, the wife, the wife, the husband, the husband, the children, the dogs, the cats, you know, the grandparents, however, you know, you all identify and so forth of course but there may have, may have even been a situation here where someone's either lack of leadership or even domineering attitude because it could go both either way with the king of wands in the reverse and this is a general reading but I do feel like someone's emotions they were not healthy here and it was leading towards this undercurrent of toxicity or negative behaviors despite having this potential and even actually having for some of you this beautiful ten of pentacles like having everything but it may have felt like self-sabotage like someone was self-sabotaging there was a lack of the necessary efforts it's almost like someone really needed to master themselves, and this is really highlighting a lot here. That someone had not fully worked through what was needed in order to have this Ten of Pentacles conflict in the reverse. Resolution. Passion in the reverse. There's a serious matter here. 
power in the reverse. Tell me more about conflict in the reverse. Passion in the reverse. We're all we're getting all this in the reverse. Which is fine, release in the reverse. Confusion. Remember in the beginning of the reading, I said that how I felt these cards were interacting was bringing up some confusion, some confusing energies. I feel like there is someone who may be coming in and they're going to want to resolve something here, okay? With conflict in the reverse and scythe in the reverse, this is about slowly cutting something away that needs to be cut out. There could have been uh, procrastination with doing what was necessary in the past, not making the efforts. Maybe it was something that, that was promised. But I feel at the same time, this is a very, very serious situation because there's someone here that could be feeling like this person's unstable. And with power in the reverse and release in the reverse, there is someone here with this king of wands in the reverse. It, I'm almost getting with this power in the reverse. It's like the emperor in the reverse. It is this egotistical domineering energy. Someone not using their power appropriately. Abuse of power. Someone not wanting to let go of something here. It's almost like Knowing what went wrong and someone, it's like, you want to fix this? Okay, but you need to cut something away. This is what I feel someone is saying. Like, you need to cut something out. You need to release something here because it's destabilizing this connection or I'm not sure if I can trust you. I'm not sure if it's safe to love. You need to heal something you got going on. You know, that type of vibe. And I feel like someone's saying, I'm not letting go of the past because it really hurt me. I feel like there's someone who's very, very, is like saying it with conviction. Like someone who may have been very patient and is just feeling as though they're being pushed to the limits. Now, with the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Cups, Gemini, there is some sort of information that is being held back. Okay, someone does not want pain here. But after this Ten of Cups, there's this new beginning, this new start, this, this beautiful new emotional beginning but with power in the reverse and release in the reverse it's like someone isn't letting go of something but if they just did, this could be even coming together to have a difficult conversation this could be anything but there's someone that's here that is holding on to something and it is getting in the way of a resolution i feel like it's been testing your patience I feel like someone, there's one person that feels that this conflict resolution, like they're proceeding very cautiously, while the other person's approach is like, no, you need to just cut this out or you need to do this. It's Someone sees something as very black and white, like this is what must be done. Let's just end what needs to be ended here. Yeah, it may hurt whether the... This is words coming out, having a tough conversation, or just ending something that needs to be ended so that some sort of new emotional start can come in. Because there's something painful that's going on here that's, that's blocking this. A new start is coming, though. Robotic. Commitment in the reverse. Snake. What is it? I just want to know more about the snake card, please. 
interference awaken in the reverse so was there some sort of snaky deceptive interference here it could be a person but I'm not really seeing third-party energy as a person this could be a thing person place thing concept idea hobby feeling emotion could be anything but I feel like someone is being maybe even a bit robotic with their communication because they may not be wanting to commit to something. This could go either way. This is because someone doesn't want to confess and you know fess up to something because there, there's a person here who doesn't want to give something up. So they may be acting a bit robotic and hesitant because they don't want to be straightforward about this hesitancy to commit and cut something off. Or this is you who's being a bit robotic, you're withholding communication, you're not saying too much here because you don't want to commit again or commit in general to someone who you perceive to be some sort of snake because of an interference. It could be both. But what I'm getting here is that there are two people here that are kind of side-eyeing each other. And there is emotions that are removed because of past betrayal. Now, for your person, they're showing up as the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords in the reverse, Justice in the reverse, and the Ten of Cups. So... I do feel like this person wants to reach out to you. I feel like this person, they're trying to make some sort of decision. They may be feeling in a bit of a lighter mood. There's a desire here to connect with you. I feel that this person knows that whenever they connect with you, they feel better. You brighten the mood for them. But at the same time, there's this hurdle. There's this hurdle of some sort of situation that needs to be addressed. You need to be careful here because you may be dealing with someone who just wants to brush something under the rug and not really take uh, accountability for past actions, okay? At the same time, there could be someone here who may feel like you are being unfair. I wanna get more cards out here. Soul connect. Yeah, see, this person feels like you are a soul connection. Divine timing. In the reverse. Obstacles. This person, I feel like maybe trying to force a reconciliation here. Tell me more about divine timing in the reverse. obstacle they want to remove day-to-day -day obstacles that are occurring between the two of you um with divine timing in the reverse and awaken in re the reverse it, it's like this person they may not understand the depths of why this can't really be just brushed under the rug this person may be kind of downplaying the problem why Explore, yeah, so hidden. Yeah, so unexpected in the reverse of the bottom of the deck. Gemini, this person, they're just exploring. They're feeling something out. They may feel like they may not know all of the information or maybe you have not fully expressed. This is just for some of you, everything to them and with where you are at. This person, they, they, I feel like this person, they want to come in and feel out where you're at. There's something that this person may not know, but they're wanting to explore where you're at. This explores this adventure, fun, spontaneity, keeping it light. Because with lesson, lessons in the reverse, this is someone who's just not learning the lesson, okay? For some of you, it may be that 
they're not able to because they don't have all of the information, especially if they're unawakened, okay? As I, but I feel like this person is trying to force some sort of resolution here without going too deep into the resolution. Kind of like, oh, let's just say we're sorry and let's carry on type thing. And I feel like you're just like, no, this is not, this is not how it's gonna work here. <laughs> this is not how it works. But I feel like this person, they wanna know where you're at. They're curious, okay? He's looking at this globe on this card this is the first steps. The two of wands is the first steps, the planning stages. This person wants to be happy with you. Yeah, I feel like this person's trying to force something. They're they're not they didn't learn or they're not seeing a le the lesson, or they're not seeing... the seriousness of something. This is soul connection. Balance. Yeah, this person just wants to balance things out here. But maturity in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, so they just want things to be okay. And with maturity in the reverse, this is not, this is, they're not wanting to address the root issues, what I'm getting. And it could be because they don't understand it. They don't get it. But the good thing that I'm seeing is that they may be willing to explore what they don't understand. I'm, I'm seeing that. They may be open to that, but I'm not quite sure that they're still going to get it. But they, they... I feel like this person could be open to it because they, they do want to balance things out that bad. For you, Gemini, this is the good news. The good news is that there is a lot of... The, the ball is basically in your court. You hold a lot of power here. Things are moving forward for you favorably and... Um, I just I look at this page of wands, like this little smile, this smirk, like I'm here, and the page of cups looks just so happy. The magician looks very serious, though. Virgo, Gemini energy, and Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like things are coming into play here that are favoring you. Things are looking good for you. And now it feels like, okay, I can actually make some moves here. There's an opportunity to manifest, to initiate, to offer something and say something maybe that, you know, you've been always wanting to say. Whatever this is, is putting you in a position to speak up or act Especially if this person is going to be presenting themselves as more open to exploring what they're not getting, okay? Because I feel like you've been holding the line here. You've been, you, you're, you got your defenses up. Justice in the reverse, exactly. Communication. Collaboration. What's justice in the reverse, though? Tell me more about this. We got decisions and planning in the reverse. Effort in the reverse. Why? Fears. Bad habits. Shattered at the bottom of the deck. So this is what I'm going to say here. Things are turning in your favor. But I do recommend here, Gemini, that when you are capable or when there's an opportunity to, to, opportunity to talk to this person and there's that ability 
when uh, there's a capability of doing so, I would ground yourself and work through any fears that may be coming up for you, okay? Have a clear, decisive plan in your head of what it is that you would like to see from this person because this is going to really help this person understand where you are coming from as well as help them take accountability for past injustices, past actions, okay? There is the energy of the need to be just fully honest and authentic. And maybe for some of you, you just don't feel like this is going to happen because you're just doubting certain things. But this Wheel of Fortune is saying that this may come in sooner than you think and you may be like, wait, what? And then you may not be prepared with exactly what you want to say. So I would prepare for this. I feel that you do want to speak up about the past injustices and lack of planning, lack of effort. You also may be afraid that this person could continue to do it again. You you just haven't been seeing this person um, put in the work, do what's necessary, let go of what needs to be let go, and you know. You may notice that this person has some bad habits related to their fears, or you may just have fears about this person's bad habits. And because of that, this could be why you are not necessarily putting in much effort. It could be because of this injustice. You're, you're afraid, you know? So it, this isn't saying like, hey, you got to put in the effort to this person or this or that. But at least when it comes to communication, know what it is that you want to express, what you want to say here, what's on your mind so that you can authentically express yourself. Okay, because there is this um, opportunity for communication and collaboration. And I feel like you're all for that about a collaborative conversation. It doesn't mean that you're committing to this person uh, or anything like that. I don't feel like there's a difference between putting in day-to-day -day effort and catapulting towards this person and there's a difference towards simply having a conversation about what's going on, right? So I feel like you are at this place where you're like, I'm not jumping into anything kind of like this person may want. You've got fears about that. You don't want that. You're afraid of this person's bad habits. Okay, so if this person is trying to force reconciliation, you... You, I don't see you being into that. You're taking, you're looking ahead for the long term. But you're willing to have a conversation about it as long as it's mature and collaborative. And I feel like this person, they're going to be willing to do that with you. Now for the outcome, we do have the seven of wands here which with all of this energy i do like because this is showing that you are standing your ground on a matter okay you are taking a stand and there's this unwavering energy at the same time this could be indicating a situation stabilizing but i feel that more so you may be expressing or showing this person in some way revealing information to them seven of swords in the reverse that you are not going to be taking any sort of action or taking on any sort of opportunity to act until something changes i feel like you are stepping into this empress energy you may be not desiring to nurture this connection but that may be a choice of the empress and being in this empress energy, okay? That you are standing your ground here because the empress, she doesn't take garbage from anyone. This is Taurus energy, by the way. We also have Libra energy down here. I don't know if I called that out. Because you're just like no lopsided effort. And I feel like this person could even be really seeing your strength like there are, you're not allowing this person to take any sort of shortcut 
Wish granted, though. Oof. This is maturity. Movement. Well-being at the bottom of the deck. Gemini. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. If there's one thing to take away from this reading, it's this, okay? Self-respect. It is magnetic. You are showing this person that you know your value. You're not going to be dealing with any immaturity here. You're not going to be dealing with that. With well-being, your vitality is skyrocketing here. You're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling confident. Your day-to-day -day is feeling balanced. Okay? So, I do feel that there's some sort of wish granted here, okay? There is a sense of success, and it's, it's this mature energy, this mature movement forward. Like, you've got this under control. And with the world at the bottom of the deck, there's some sort of completion, that will bring in some sort of new start or beginning and positive movement forward. But tell me more about the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Tra death, transformation. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is putting the end to these missed opportunities, this unequal give and take. This is saying that you are no longer staying in a situation that feels lopsided. This is a transformation around going a bit extreme here where you're just like, either you're in it or you are not, okay? I'm not going to be manifesting or putting in more energy unless I see that from you. There's something very serious. It's like no more of this not showing up, no more of this unequal give and take, this imbalance. There's, just, there's a death and a rebirth going on here. And you're standing your ground about it. It's You're very much this, this is how it's going to be type energy, but I don't feel like it's the emperor in reverse where there's this unstable energy. This is the empress. This is like you have standards and you are making those known. You are showing that with your actions because maybe for some of you in your past, you may have, you know, been too lenient with this person, too forgiving, too, you know, even undermining your own self in the past, but no, not here. You're revealing that you're not doing that again. It's either, it's like change or this is done. Well, the emperor in the reverse came out here. Your person's not. Yeah, so the Emperor in the reverse, there could be some unstable communication with your person's response here a little bit. With the Two of Cups, though, I, yeah. The world again at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like when you have this interaction with this person, it could be a bit heated. It could feel a bit unstable, but you're still showing up as the empress. So this could be your person feeling this, but you're not afraid here. You'll interact with this person. You'll, you'll talk and so forth, but you're standing your ground, okay? And I feel that it may really give this person something to think about. I mean, this is showing this person a lot, and they may even be kind of taken aback by your strength here. Okay, because you're not just going to be offering this pentacle to anyone. That's for sure. So I feel like you could even a little bit be triggering this person, but with wish granted maturity movement, it's because you know who you are, you know what you want, you know what you desire, and you're not backing down from it, Gemini, and this is beautiful. So 
that's what I'm really seeing so far. We are going to be taking this over to the extended because I do feel that it will be insightful. But either way, if this did resonate for you, please let me know below. Please uh, also let me know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any of your other major Gemini placements. I would love to know which part of the Gemini collective I'm connecting with. But uh, yeah, I hope that this reading was able to provide you with enough clarity and insight. If you would like to join me over at the extended, the link for that is in the description box below. And there we are going to be exploring the next three to six months along with your person's intentions and, and you know, really where they are at, some guidance and advice as well as timing and we'll probably dive deep into this person's actions as well i think that that could be quite helpful here so if you'd like to follow me over there the link for that is in the description box below i will also uh go ahead and pin that in the comments too but uh yeah that is what i have for you i hope to see you over there if not then i hope that this reading itself was able to provide you with enough valuable insight and uh, yeah thank you so much i love you all so much gemini and i will see you next time bye so with storm warning in the reverse i love this because this is about leaving dark times behind so your I mean, person they may be pulled towards influences and distractions but this person with the two of swords in the reverse they're seeing the self-sabotage you're seeing the anxiety but seeing this the is connected to their thoughts their heart is connected to their thoughts and their thoughts are connected to their heart because they know that this was a real deal this person i feel like they feel guilt 